Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to GST. Today we are going to see how to simulate a flood in ArcGIS. So first of all, we need temp data. I'm going to insert my temp data here. So the next thing is that I'm going to add my uh, shape file for uh, water. So this is going to be used for simulating a flood. I'm just uh, changing my color. So I have done it. I have changed my color right here. You can see. The next thing is that I'm going to convert this uh, temp data into a 3D into a 3D format. For that, we need to just click it on the uh, temp data and just go to the properties. From there, go to base height, select floating on a custom surface, and just give apply and give OK. So after that, just uh, try to zoom to the layer. So I have uh, given a zoom to layer, but it's not visible. So go to the scene layers and uh, select scene properties. From there, just uh, click on the calculate from the extent and uh, just give uh, geographic and just save, apply and give OK. Next thing is just, just uh, refresh it. I just uh, give zoom to layer. Now you can see that the data has been uh, visible in a 3D format. You can see here, it's in a 3D format. From there, we are going to properties for uh, changing the colors so that it will be easy for identify the elevations of uh, various landforms. Let's give apply and give OK. So you can see that these are the lowest level, the light blue color. And uh, you can see the white color, these are the highest point. So next thing is that we are going to uh, simulate the flood for this region. So next thing, just enable that water and uh, go and click on the animation toolbar. From there, select animation manager. So here we are going to give the simulations. So just click on the create bar. From there, uh, just uh, don't change anything. Just give a new so that a new track has been created for you. And uh, go on for the keyframe name. From there, we can create uh, several frames for simulating frets. So I'm going to approximately give it as uh, 30, 30 frames so that we can visualize the floodings properly. So just give close. From there, you can see a lot more options available here. We just have to uh, change the value for Z series because while uh, simulating the flood, you need to give the Z C factor to the water shape file so that the uh, elevation will be changing according to which the flood will be simulated. So I'm going to give it in a random form. I'm just going to give it as 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, you can see that I have given up to 1350 so I'm going to reduce it so that it will be like a so now we are going to uh, now I'm going to just uh, reduce it so that uh, it will be uh, uh, seen as a, a simulation when the flood came in and when it's going back so for that I'm going to just change it and uh, reduce it at the middle stage that is uh, I'm going to give 1300 and I'm going to just that is it. Uh, so now you can see I have created uh, ranges for the series. There are around uh, 28 uh, frames here. I'm just adding it from 100 and I'm just uh, bringing it up to 1350. From there, I'm going to reduce my value so that we can visualize how the flood has, uh, sudden flood has occurred after that, how it has been reduced. So the next thing is that. Uh, if you are going to add a, a one more frame for your scene, then just give create. From there, you have already created the uh, keyframes 30. If you want to add some more uh, frames, means you can just give create so that your frame has been added here. 
just keep close for it and if you like to add values you just add it i'm going to give it as 50 okay the next thing is that update it the update has been finished so just close it from there go to the option and open animation controls so you can have a lot of options here so you can see the options available here by duration you can uh, simulate within uh, 10 seconds or if you want you can just uh, add it on i'm going to give it as 40 seconds and you can just uh, have a lot of options available once you can forward it or reverse it or look forward it a lot more options available now i'm going to just simulate it right now for you now i'm in a comfortable position for seeing the floodings so this is my lowest point so now we are going to just generate it out you can see here that uh, it's been processed and you can see here how the flood is being generated from lower to the higher level you can see the flood intrusion into the land and you can see the radius of the flood which I gave already so that the flood is, the flood is just uh, draining up after some time so this is how we are going to simulate our flood for the any specific region so I hope that you have learned something from this video keep watching GSTube bye everyone